What's up guys? So I'm here with another video and uh, for the last couple weeks I've been deciding if, if I should paint uh, the calipers on the Fusion or not. I've been thinking about it and I've decided to go ahead and do it. I hope I do a good job because if not I'm going to really get upset about it and end up replacing it to the stock ones again. And they're quite expensive. It's probably $500 for the set. So I've already got the car on jacks. Um, you can see right there both front wheels are already off I got her on jacks and I also have here that's my ramps as an extra precaution just in case those jacks give away so I'm just gonna get the camera set up and we'll start working on these bad boys right here so okay guys so here we are with the first step well the first step is get your car up in uh, jacks wheels taken off I put a piece of plastic underneath for any dirt oil stains not to stain the garage floor so it will be protected. That's step number one. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because if you don't know how to do it you need to learn and I'm not going to teach you. So the first step uh, after that is clean the rotor as much as you can. I'm going to use a metal brush and just scrub it away until I think it's 100% clean. They're pretty clean. The car only has 1,000 uh, miles so it should be okay but regardless I'm going to After you've done that, just use a toothbrush, toothbrush to the little spots that you can't uh, get to. So you're done scrubbing the caliper with the metal brush and the toothbrush. You're going to sand it down. Uh, what I got here is a 3M 180 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to cut it in half so it's not too big. I'm going to sand down the whole caliper. So when you're done with the, uh, the uh, 180 grit sandpaper, what you're going to do is grab the air compressor and just blow off any dust you may have. I got to go get it. By the time you're done with the uh, 100 grit, uh, 180 grit sandpaper, just grab your air compressor and just blow off any dust that may be there. Then you're going to grab 1000 grit sandpaper and redo it all over again. If, you put, if I'm putting my hand right through it, it's starting to feel nice and smooth. Alright, step number four. We've cleaned the caliper, we sanded the caliper. Now I bought these, uh, this VHT caliper cleaner and I'm going to just spray the whole caliper and clean it off. Just spray the whole caliper. Don't be shy because you want to have this nice and clean. And it, it instantly dries off. I thought there would be some drippings or anything. There's nothing. Instantly just dries. It's totally dry. My hands are not. Wow. 
Okay, I'm just going to give a couple stickers. I just got it uh, contaminated with my hurt, dirty hand. Get a closer look. That looks pretty clean to me. It's like shiny new. Okay guys, we are starting now step number five. And we're gonna cover anything that's not to be sprayed with a plastic drop seat, including the whole car. Only we're just gonna leave open the caliper. And this sheet is, you can get this at the dollar store for like a dollar or two dollars, I forgot how much I paid, but it's 12 feet by 8 feet, so it will cover the whole area of the car. I didn't want to risk getting any uh, red paint on the car itself. So let's cover it up. Okay, so I've got the caliper now only exposed, everything else, the whole car has been taped. I forgot to turn on the tape when I was doing it, but that's done. I'm just going to cover up the, some plastic parts that I don't want to paint. So we'll cover that up. So my next step, which I think if we're going into step number, I lost track, I think it's number six. I also got the VHT product, which is, uh, this is actually a um, gray primer, high temperature gray primer up to 2000 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to prime the whole caliper. I'm going to do one layer and see what it looks like. And while that is drying, I'm going to start working on the next uh, caliper on the right side. So I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and I'm going to start on the other side see what it looks like and I might sand it down a little bit because I still see a little bit of bumps everywhere. So we're going to sand it down and do another coat. So I'm not quite happy with the outcome of it. It still looks a little bit rough so I'm going to sand it down very lightly with 1000 uh, sandpaper, 1000 grit sandpaper. Just by doing that, I've removed the high points of the primer and the little little nibbles and bumps that was on the caliper itself are filled with the primer and it's exposing just the slightly little highs. And I'll show you guys a close-up. Let's see if I can get a close-up here. I don't know if you're able to see it or not. 
there you see a little bit of the caliper so wherever the gray are there is the, the low spots of the caliper that now have been filled and I'll do a quick meta coat and it should make everything nice and flat Okay guys, so I did end up uh, sending it twice and doing three light coats of uh, primer. I'm now going to use the VHE, VHT caliper red and I'm going to start painting it red. And this is the point of no return right now. So I'm going to start on my second coat of red. Okay guys, so I've applied three coats of red paint. Very thin layers. It's nice and smooth. No bumps, shiny. I love it. Now it's time to apply the Stop Faster sticker. I've got the little sports sticker. I got one ready to go here. So let's apply the sports sticker in it. So I get it right the first time. Okay guys, next step, we're going to use the, again, VHD, all the products I use is VHD, and this is going to be the clear coat. Done, so we're going to rinse it for 10-15 minutes and do a second clear coat. Okay guys, I just finished completing painting the calipers. It took me two days. Uh, it takes approximately, well it took me, five hours and a half per set between the drying time and the process of doing everything. So I've completed the front rotors, I did it on Monday, and today is Sunday, I just completed the back rotors. So I did take my time, I wanted to make sure it went well, it was planned. Uh, but let's, you know what, let's forget about it, let's take a look what it looks like in the car. Gotta start off with the rear ones. I think they look super good. I don't know if you can see it. Ah. And there's the front ones. Also looking pretty damn good. So at least I'm happy it's all done. And from a little bit of a distance, there you are. And the rear. Look at those guys. Look freaking good. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. You know, I'm no expert doing videos, but hope this helps and uh, give me some feedback, like, dislike, doesn't really make a difference. And I'll be posting another video soon. 
of something else already have planned. So till next time, have a good one, guys.